Hi, I am Naim Akram Malik from Test Automation TV. I am a senior test engineer and in this video I am going to answer the question that do you need to install the JDK first before you install the IntelliJ? The short answer of this question is that no, you don't need to install JDK before you could install IntelliJ. You could download the IntelliJ idea and you could install it and then you could download the JDK and provide the path of the JDK to the IntelliJ idea platform. By default such SDKs are stored in a directory which is difficult to remember. It is stored in the user data somewhere. We are going to see that in this video. So it is highly recommended that we change the location of the SDK, the Java JDK when we install it through IntelliJ. So let us go ahead and install IntelliJ on a brand new machine, on a clean slate machine. let the download has started and we will install it when the download is completed okay so the download is completed let us just install it ideal c so this machine is blank it does not contain any java or anything else this is like a brand new machine and let us see so i will create a desktop shortcut at bin folder click all of the check boxes over here click next and install once the installation is completed, we are going to reboot the system, although we can do it later. Let's do it now. Okay, we are back after the reboot and the IntelliJ Community Edition has been installed on this machine. Let me launch it. So when we are going to launch it and when we will create a new project, we are going to get the option to download the JDK. I confirm that I have read and accept the terms and I will click continue. Okay, send anonymous statistics. So this is IntelliJ IDEA Community version 2022.1. So over here, if I will click new project, then now you will notice that the JDK drop down contains the no SDK word, words written in the red this can be considered a warning definitely so if we click on this drop down if you click on this drop down it shows us the option to download a jdk or add an existing jdk so i am going to click download jdk all right so now you can see that this jdk will be installed in user backslash jdk is backslash open jdk something something but uh, this is not a like very good place to install the jdk if you ask me i would rather install it in the program files folder so let me do it i'm going to click on this button okay and instead of installing the jdk in the users data let me go to program files and click the plus button over here and create a java folder okay so the system has shown an error that it cannot create the folder java this error is going to go away if we run the intellij in uh, administrator mode okay as an administrator let me close intellij and i will go back to the shortcut again and i will click run as administrator okay now i will run it as administrator Now I'm going to click on new project once again. 
and I will click on this drop down and I will say download JDK we can download open JDK 18 so there are other versions available as well like SAP machine etc etc but I am going to get the oracles open JDK and I will click on the folder over here I will go to program files and I will add a folder in Java in here and inside Java I am going to add JDK, JDK 18 open JDK 18 and I will click OK now and then I will click download so the download is going to take a few minutes so now the open JDK has been installed and we can simply click create on the project we can also select maven archetypes which uh, is very helpful so I am going to go here the open JDK is not being detected here if I go here and I what can I do I can click add JDK I can go to program files Java open JDK 18 and click OK all right so now we can proceed with maven archetypes like for example there is this quick start archetype I am going to select the first one and I am going to click create so this is how we create our first maven project how we download and install IntelliJ first of all and then download and, and uh, download the JDK open JDK or any other JDK of your choice and then create a maven project so I hope you found this video to be useful thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more test automation videos I am thinking to create a test automation course using selenium it will be a course for beginners so do stay tuned for more follow me on linkedin and do subscribe my youtube channel test automation tv thank you very much you have a good day